Hey, what's up guys? Wise24 here. And today we're going to be going over the best class to start with stasis in mind for beginners. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoy destiny content and you find my channel, you know, fun and entertaining, go ahead and drop a uh, subscribe on the channel because it does help me out. I appreciate you greatly. So let's get into the video. So first off, we're going to go with in terms of I let's put it fun because if, if we do, you know, best, it's very subjective and opinionated. So fun. I'm going to put Titan last and I'm going to tell you why it is kind of it's a toss up between who's the least amount of fun to play on stasis between um, Hunter and Titan. But in my opinion, the Hunter's neutral game is so much better than the Titans and we're just gonna go ahead and go into it we're not gonna have any extra aspects or fragments or anything going for you guys this is literally you completed the campaign you got this super so let's go ahead and check it out so the titans um normal melee ability which is like nine out of ten times a, a shoulder charge and it pretty much is a shoulder charge here we're gonna go ahead and show it so you don't even have to be running to do this one you can just hit melee and as long as they're kind of further away you lunge and hit not too bad everyone has this grenade so we won't be going too far into depth with that but we'll show off the super so he charges his right fist and it becomes you know like frozen and then you can uh left click i'm on pc by the way so left click is a shoulder charge esque right click is a seismic smash that puts out glaciers that you can also um charge through with left click now there's nothing wrong with the super. I actually like it a lot. It's just the neutral game does not do it for me because you're not going to be in your super as much as you would think. And just like the shoulder charge is kind of wonky, especially if you're used to like um, the arc shoulder charge, you're going to more or less be running. I found it more effective is if you stop and then press it. It still works if you're running, but it's a lot harder to um, to aim also be further back and it kind of just uh it kind of auto aims for you but i feel like the closer you're you are to the target with this shoulder charge it um it becomes less accurate all right guys so moving right along we're going to number two in terms of fun and i gotta put the hunter there now usually the hunter is my main i've been switching it up recently if you guys have been watching my videos you know i've been switching up playing a lot more titan I'd like to put Hunter one, but you'll see once we get to Warlock why that one's number one. So let's go talk about number two first. We've got, you guys know this super. If you don't, we'll, we'll show it off. So the reason Hunter is number two over um, Titan is because of this, basically. That right there. I just think that's 10 times better than the shoulder charge. Plus you get two of them and they ricochet. Look at that. That's crazy. It, it, it it's such a much better plus i mean you know the just the hunter's agility in general is better than titan but the fact of the matter is you get two of those and um you you can just they ricochet which is even better now the super's not it, it, it it's kind of on par with the titans you throw one sickle that freezes and the other one does damage as you can see it see it freezes and then d the other one breaks the freeze so it's a continuous uh dot basically that just hovers around this enemy so it's not too bad but i feel like the tight yeah see it didn't even kill him i feel like the titan would have been able to kill him but just the fear the the pure fact of the shuriken is the reason i am sticking the hunter at number two all right guys last but not least is actually first because we went in reverse order but anyways Number one, I'm putting for fun with stasis at the Warlock. Now we're going to go into that. Why it's the fun, most fun. But um, so Bungie actually nerfed the melee ability of this and now they're rebuffing it because they nerfed it too much. So it'll be more balanced, but the super pretty much has been untouched. So first off, we're going to do your melee ability called Prenumeral Blast and it's just boom. And if it doesn't kill him, it freezes him. Pretty sick. Now here comes the fun part, the super. So you got 
your right your uh, your left click shoots uh freezes but they're all dying because they're weak but if if they don't die from that you can do this and it shatters them let's see if we can get oh i ran out of stuff but basically it would freeze them like that and then you would uh right click and the staff would uh shatter them with that pulse wave but it also stuns it doesn't last as long as i like it to but it's definitely one of the more fun classes i feel like all right guys that's gonna be about it for me uh let me know in the comments below if you feel that i am justified in my opinion if you also share the same opinion if not leave that in the comments below i like to hear from you guys um but if you found this informative please drop a like it does help me out also i'll say it again consider subscribing to the channel because that does also help me out as well anything you do helps helps me out i appreciate every one of you guys but with that being said that's uh, going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.